Hi, this is Axel from Pixie. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the UV projection tool. When it comes to applying to a mesh a material made of textures like wood, leather or carbon, UVs need to be applied to this mesh. In most cases, creating UVs by projecting simple UV primitives like box, plane or cylinder is plainly sufficient to obtain a nice looking texture model. That is why we introduced in Pixie Studio 2020.1 a new UV projection tool. This tool is meant for the user to interactively apply UVs using basic UV projection that can be adjusted in the viewport by manipulating a dedicated gizmo. Let's see an example right away. The steering wheel needs to be beautified with nice textured materials in order to be used in a virtual car configurator. I apply to my center part here a nice carbon material made of textures. But I immediately realized that the pattern of the carbon textures is not properly rendered. But that is because my mesh does not have UVs applied. In order to create UVs, I will now turn on the UV projection tool from the tools panel here. I select my center part and the blue box appears with transformation manipulators. I can choose different projection types like box, plane, cylinder. Here I use a box projection. And as you can see, my texture starts appearing correctly on my mesh. To fine tune the projection, I simply use the gizmo to properly place and orient my projection box. Then I set the projection size, and finally, I apply the projection to my mesh. And it's done. I obtain a nice carbon properly projecting on my mesh. So here, in just a few steps, using the UV projection tool, my steering wheel looks nicer than ever. One more thing, to help you beautify your 3D models, Pixis provides a PBO material library that can be downloaded from a website by clicking the materials menu here.